Hey guys, Alien here from AI's Tech Reviews. In this video, I will be reviewing the Dell Precision 7750. This mobile workstation packs some incredible power, and let's see if it's worth it. This is one very thick and heavy laptop. It weighs 3.01 kilograms, and that is labeled as a starting weight, which means that as you alter certain components, weight will only increase from here. It has a height of 28.9 millimeters, a width of 400 millimeters and a depth of 263.6 millimeters. It has a 6 core 10th generation Intel Xenon processor and an Nvidia Quadro RTX 4000 with 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. That is some insane power in both CPU and GPU. This machine can be equipped with up to 4 drives, which means you can have up to 8 lovely terabytes of storage if you pour your entire wallet into this computer, that is. All of these drives are M.2 NVMe SSDs, making this basically the flash of computers. The RAM is 32GB of DDR4 memory, which is great. Now you may be wondering why this is so overpowered, and why does it cost just over £3,000 for this specific spec? This is a mobile workstation, and this means that you get the power of basically a desktop PC, in a portable laptop package. This makes it capable of tasks like 3D rendering, video editing, complex visualizations, and other graphic and power intensive tasks. The massive 95 watt hour battery inside can hold, according to Dell, up to nine hours of usage on a single charge, if you're Googling and emailing. But reports are saying it only lasts a third of the time and sometimes even less. But with the level of components in here, I can't really say I'm surprised that it fails to reach its expected battery claim. The display is a 17.3 inch FHD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p and a 60Hz refresh rate. It looks okay. It's not the best, but it's enough to get the job done. On the back you have a mini display port, an HDMI 2.0, an RJ45 and an AC power port. On the left are two Thunderbolt 3 USB-Cs a USB-A 3.2 with power share, and a smart card reader. And on the right is an SD card reader, universal audio jack, two USB-A's 3.2 with power share, and a cable lock. If you don't know what power share is, it just means you can charge things like your phone in a power pack through the USB-A ports. But in order for it to work, you have to activate it through an advanced menu upon startup. The keyboard feels pretty good, and for accuracy it's okay. I feel like the number pad on the side threw me off a bit, but otherwise, great feel and key travel. The trackpad is amazing, it has a glass feel to it, and the buttons are okay. They are a bit squishy for my liking, but they're okay. For trackpad buttons, I don't think any laptop can top the Lenovo ThinkPad X1's trackpad buttons. So overall, they've done a great job with it. It has that premium feel to it, a brilliant port selection, some amazing hardware, and overall is a fantastic package. If you are the kind of person who will benefit from this power and extra course, then I'd highly recommend it because it is an excellent machine. If you don't think or you know you won't be using this machine to its full potential, then this isn't for you because it's a really expensive device, not the most portable of machines, and it's just not worth it for most people. If you found this helpful, then consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.